Rich Thomas Weather Network, brought to you by these fine sponsors. Hear Rich's forecast hourly on these Blue Water Broadcasting Radio stations. Hey, good morning, everybody. On this Tuesday morning, it is the sixth day of December, and boy, am I a happy guy this morning. I'm happy because even though I lost a lot of sleep watching the weather, I did not have to wake you up several times during the night with watches and warnings. That makes me happy. That uh, warm front, which was the key to the overnight severe weather situation, stayed closer to the Florida border. That's important. So that's good news. Now, the next big ticket item on the weather menu. How about some Arctic air? How about temperatures in the 20s by Thursday and Friday night? I'll update the brand new numbers on that. And speaking of numbers, what are we now? 19 days away from Christmas? I've got a temperature forecast that'll take you 16 days into the future. And speaking of numbers, how much rain did you get at your house from this storm system as we continue to chisel away at this drought? I had two and a half inches here, but look at this map. Some of you did a whole lot better than that. Now, these are Doppler radar estimates of how much rain fell during that storm system and uh, four to five inches or more in the Wiregrass counties. I see a lot of folks got three to four inches, even a three to four inch corridor along the I-85 corridor. A lot of folks one to two inches. Uh, you know, all the showers will be exiting the state this morning. We get into a period of dry weather and uh, it looks like uh, a partly sunny day later on after some morning clouds, then becoming mostly sunny and then periods of clouds tonight. The severe weather risk shifts to the southeast coast portions of Georgia and Florida in the slight risk, a marginal risk surrounding that. Otherwise, this morning, maybe a shower early, but I mean very early and then... Um, then it's cloudy, then partly sunny. High in the mid-60s. Tonight's low 47. West winds at 10, 15 miles per hour today. Here comes the Arctic plunge heading southward. Some much colder air. By far the coldest air of the season. It'll reach us. The front gets here on uh, Thursday. By Wednesday evening, there's the front just north of us. Could be a few spotty showers as the front moves through, especially early in the day on Thursday. I, I've got the rain chances at 30%. Look, a little bit of snow not too far from the Alabama-Tennessee line right there. Friday is a frigid day. We start off in the 20s, highs only in the low to mid 40s. The winds will make it seem colder. Saturday is the coldest morning and a chilly day with high temperatures around 50. Christmas on the Coosa coming up Saturday. Uh, tomorrow's high, um, let's say low to mid 60s. And then 54 Thursday before it turns much colder. Chance of a shower as the front moves through. Breezy and cold, only 44 Friday after a morning low of 26. And how about that low to mid-20s on Saturday morning? Maybe a few showers a couple of times next week uh, around Tuesday. And it looks like maybe around Thursday according to the, uh, this is the European out 10 days. So maybe a couple of bouts with showers next week. Look at those cold days on Thursday, on Friday and Saturday according to the 10-day uh, or actually the 15-day uh, European temperatures and some very chilly mornings. And in fact, on the GFS, it's got us in the 20s on Friday and Saturday morning. I think that's right. It's got 42 for a high Friday. I, I've got 44 and near 50 on Saturday. I like that. And then moderating temperatures next week so it doesn't last long. That's good news. Download our new weather app. It's got all kinds of great stuff you can keep up, especially with the cold weather coming, hourly forecast, the 10-day forecast, uh, future radar, and uh, the latest video is always at your fingertips, and a whole lot more. If you go exploring the app, you're going to find a lot of stuff in there. It's free in the App Store. Just download and look for Rich Thomas Weather Network. Over 5,000 downloads so far. So, yeah, I'm glad we didn't have to deal with the severe weather problems that we could have had this morning. And those overnight situations really worry me to death. Whew. Now, we have a new update coming up this morning from the Rich Thomas, uh, uh, on RichThomasWeatherNetwork.com from the Blue Water Weather Center at 11 o'clock. You can get that at a bunch of places. You can get that on the website, RichThomasWeatherNetwork.com. You can get that on YouTube at Rich Thomas Weather. You can get it on your weather app, which more than 5,000 of you have already downloaded. And you can find that on the YouTube tab on your weather app. And we'll be live on the radio this morning, 6 to 9 on News Talk 93.1 and on Bama Country and your forecast across the dial on eight separate radio stations twice an hour. The Blue Water family of radio stations. Another video tomorrow morning as we talk about some Arctic air and as we look closer towards Christmas, maybe we can get an idea of what that Christmas forecast is going to be like. Have a good day. Rich Thomas Weather.